going on just back here with another video uh before i get into this uh, video's topic which will be more uh trashing justin trudeau i just want to let you guys know that it really does help if you like and subscribe to this channel it really helps me grow and i absolutely appreciate every single one of you who does and please just don't forget when you see that like and subscribe button uh, please hit it and also hit the notification bell that way uh, when i do drop a new video you'll get notified right away and then you don't have to search for it on youtube or anything like that um, also, please uh, don't forget to leave your comments as well. I always enjoy reading your guys' thoughts and engaging with you as well. And uh, so let's get into this here. So we're going to talk about uh, Justin Trudeau. He seems to be getting a little bit desperate these days. Uh, he's saying we're reducing the number of low-wage temporary foreign workers in Canada. I thought that was racist uh, or something like that. Okay. Isn't the liberals ideology or their way of thinking just, oh, if you reduce the amount of uh, foreign workers, you're racist because, and you're a white supremacist because, um, well, there's no logic behind it. We just don't like what you're saying and therefore you're racist and we don't like you. Well, now Justin Trudeau is actually doubling or not doubling down, but he's actually reversing his position because when we had uh, too many temporary foreign workers in Canada, that was done under his administration. The labor market has changed. Now this is the time for our businesses to invest in Canadian workers and youth. Oh, so he's a populist now. Hmm. He's Canada first now. Oh, right, right. He's had nine years to do that. But now he's doing it, guys. Do you believe him? Tell me you believe Justin Trudeau in the comment section and see if you can try not to laugh when you're typing in that comment. It's pretty hard to believe anything he says at this point, considering, you know, he's had nine fucking years and he's done none of this. All he's done is hurt and destroy Canada. And now he's up in Halifax with all of his cabinet members and they're coming up with these meetings talking about the how we can help the, the middle class and Canadian workers and all this kind of nonsense. We all know they don't mean it. We all know it's just going to be a bunch of pandering nonsense. They say Pierre Polyev is really good at pandering. And, and you know what? I'd agree with that. Justin Trudeau is the ultimate panderer. I mean, low-wage temporary foreign workers in Canada. Okay, that actually sounds like a good idea. It also sounds like nothing that Justin Trudeau or his cabinet would ever do. He, the, all the people you lost to the conservatives, you're not getting those people back with Justin Trudeau at the at, at helm of the office. If he isn't the leader of the party... They're done. And even if even if they decide to switch it out, I think now it's too late. It's not like down in the States where you know that you actually saw that the Democrats get a bit of a bump when Joe Biden dropped down. Or dropped out of the race, rather, and you saw Kamala Harris um, step in without any votes, by the way. And now she's the new leader, and you see there's a bit more enthusiasm with their party. That's not going to happen here with, with the liberals. I mean, they're done. Maybe after the next election, you get in a new leader, and you kind of you, know, you can sell that you're rebuilding a little bit and restore some hope. That's really the only pathway they have to really restoring their reputation or not even restoring it, but rebuilding the reputation, in my opinion. Um, and then he says, news from cabinet. Nearly a million Canadian families are saving money with our national child care plan. We've cut fees in half across Canada. We need to create more spaces so more parents can benefit. And we need every province and territory working with us to get this done. Really? So they're saving all this money when the carbon tax keeps going up? They're saving all this money when the rent has doubled from what it used to be nine years ago? When there's a, a shortage of housing? You think they're happy that they're saving? I don't know how much they're saving, he didn't say, which probably means it's not very much, and it's actually not that, that many Canadians who are getting the benefit in the first place. If there were numbers for Justin Trudeau to brag about it, his ego would not allow him to leave that part out. So clearly the numbers aren't that good. He's just saying, hey guys, people are saving money. No one's saving money under you. Every time you go grocery shopping, uh, every time you fill up your gas tank, every time you pay rent, you're not saving money. Ever since he's been in office, I'm paying more tax out of my paycheck as well. So there's four ways we're getting hurt. Oh, but don't worry guys, some Canadians are getting a little bit of help and he's not even saying how much they're getting in terms of or how much they're saving, which means it's probably not a lot. Even with the carbon tax rebate, what, did, what does he always say? Eight out of ten Canadians are getting more than what they pay in taxes, in which that case, well, then why have the tax at all, dummy? And second of all, it wasn't true. If you factor in all the costs, people were paying way more money than they were or 
they were losing way more money than they were getting back in the rebates. Right. So all this guy does is pander. He lies. He tries to weasel his way around Canadians to try to get their, their vote. And I mean, it worked three times unbelievably, which no offense, Canadians, I'm Canadian too, but that was a pretty dumbass move. Hopefully we won't ever let that happen again, but I have a feeling we will because we are a very liberal country, unfortunately. Uh, not that I'm super conservative. I just think that we should be more of a either populist or libertarian minded. I think that would more, especially more populism. I think that would, uh, that would actually help this country in a lot of different ways. Putting putting Canada actually first, not just saying it, would be a really good start, by the way. So um, then Pierre Polyev chimes in here. I just uh, reposted something from Rita Ponahi here from Sky News. And what Pierre Polyev says is nine years after Trudeau promised to build affordable homes on federal land, he didn't get it done. Now he promises you that years down the road, he will build communes where you can be a permanent tenant paying rent to his government in a home you will never own. And that's the thing too, right? Like you saw the video I made yesterday where Justin Trudeau says he wants to lease the land or buy, he's going to have the, it's already government land and he wants to lease out the land to these contractors. Oh, so the government can own your home. That way, if there's another vaccine that you don't want to get, they can just kick you out. You're a dane, you're a threat to Canadian society. Therefore you shouldn't have a home or whatever hell else is going to happen. But see, again, it's you will own nothing and you'll be happy. Don't worry, guys. The government's going to take care of you. <laughs> does, it, does anyone believe that? Again, type that in the comment section without without laughing. I believe when Justin Trudeau says he wants to actually help people. Right. It's just it's absolute nonsense. And it, now, of course, he's promising he's going to build homes down the road. So elect him again first before it'll start happening, which not a good idea and then second of all oh yeah the hell the homes are going to be on our land which we still own and then we're going to lease it to you so that we still technically own your home and you know what you'll probably see next sunday when they come out with the with the polls you'll probably see a little bit of a bump from the liberals unless they do something else to screw things up but because you'll see people actually believe this horseshit not me, though, and I'm sure most of you won't either, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.